uh, I went to a Czech puppet show in front of the Three Musketeers, and there was an accordion on stage. And I geek out on accordion, so I'm up there looking at it, I'm like, ooh, look at this, I have blue hair, and I'm American, I stick out in a crowd over there. And I went and sat down, and this man jumps up behind me, he's like, where are you from? And I was like, I am from America, and I'm sorry. And, and he's like, oh, and I was like, I play accordion too. I was like, oh. He's like, I have to, I'm like, yeah, go do your show, go do your show. And I see the show, this man is out in front with his accordion, and we keep like making faces at each other, because again, stick out in the crowd, I'm like, um, that's how I make friends with all of you. And after the show, it's amazing. It is the best hand puppet show I've ever seen because the Czechs know their fucking shit. And I run up to him afterwards. I was like, that was so good. Oh my God, like the choreography and the hands of them. How many people are back there? And you do the thing that I do with your face. And he's like, whoa. English. No. <laughs> Too fucking late. We're friends now, buddy. So. We email each other using robots to translate. The word robot is a Czech word, by the way. And, uh, and he, uh, we go and we hang out next, the next night because I'm invited to go drinking with the Czech puppeteers and you do not turn down an invitation like that. Um, and basically, we form this crazy relationship where I will translate Japanese that I hear and understand to a series of like pokes and handholds and eye contact to Vladimir Sojna, who does not speak Japanese, who does not speak English. I'm like, it's okay. We're going to eat this. To which he says, okay. And the next, the, we have a wonderful time. And the next morning, I meet them for breakfast before they go off on an adventure to tour the rest of Japan. And I go and do my thing somewhere else. And at breakfast, uh, we're sitting there sort of reminded at 9 o'clock in the morning after a night of drinking, might remind you, like, oh, we don't speak the same language. But he speaks a little enough to say, last night, I make for you. And he pulls out this fucking ring, which is an accordion keyboard that he spent that night carving. What? I know! It's so un-American! It's amazing! <laughs> it is the best gift I've ever been given. And I've already broken it. We fixed it yesterday with gold leaf. And it's, it's uh, which is the uh, kintsugi, which is the Japanese thing, but we'll get into it later if you want to talk to me later. And I have a JR pass, which is a Japanese rail pass. I can go anywhere in the country. And so I check their schedule. We're talking because we're emailing back and forth because it is the best relationship I've ever had. Just like, it's just magic. And I find out they're going to be in the tiny, tiny, tiny town of Hikashi Kagawa, on the island of Kagawa. And I am in Hiroshima. And I was like, fuck it, I can get there. So I go to the JR people and I say, Sumimasen, kore, koko ni. I would like to go here. Please help me. I need help. And he does. The man gives me six train tickets. Three there, three back. And I take the very first train out of Hiroshima to Higashi Kagawa, and I will take the very last train out. And I spend the best day with my new Czech friends. They refer to me as the Blueberry Girl. It's incredible. It's incredible. And I get to spend time. There's a woman there who just happens to live there. And she speaks five languages, two of which are English and Czech. So she takes Sorsna and I out for coffee. And we are able to talk for the first time like adults. And it's amazing. It is amazing. I, my life has been so fucking magic for the past month. I have. Don't cry now. That would suck. I have trouble talking about it. So anyway, I have to take the last train out. So I am whisked away from dinner, and Sorsha comes with me to, to escort me away, and I go to Sanbamatsu Eki, which is Sanbamatsu Station in Higashi Kagawa, to get the very last train that will take me to Osaka. And I will not see them again. Which is okay, because I was already planning to go to Czech Republic for New Year's, so I will see them again. It will be great. But that night, I have to say goodbye to my new best friend, and the train is late. It's Japan, that does not fucking happen. So, this song I finished writing this morning. I may fuck it up. <laughs> I may not! Who knows? But that's, I just want you to know where I'm at. And it's fucking magical. Anyway, you guys should travel more. It's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> you make it a
strangest friends in the most amazing places. And I'm having it filmed so I can send it to him and be like, hey, buddy! Yeah. I don't need the birds, I know. Oh, oh, oh. 